Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Pokemon Red Rushing. Last time we took care of a few side tasks, minor distractions, and we also went ahead and revived the two fossils we had. In this episode, we'll be wrapping things up in Cinnabar Island, and moving on from there. So naturally, first things first, we gotta come to the Pokemon Mansion. Now, normally I would be using some repels, but there is a Pokemon that you can find in this area that I actually do want to find. And that's not it. Although, this is one Pokemon you can find. You can also find... Grimer, Muck... You can find... Well, a couple different fire types here. And the big one that you can find here is Ditto. Let's see, this item... We found an escape room. There's a wheezing. If memory serves correctly, at least in Fire Red and Leaf Green, there's quite a few trainers just scattered throughout this entire area. There it is! That's the Pokémon I want to find. Question is, do I still have my Great Balls and stuff on me? Yes, I do. Okay. So yeah, Ponyta is a fire type. And... Some may not like it, but... I kinda do. You know, it's one of the ones that... Admittedly, I... Never really used one in a single player run, but I did try to go with a Rapidash for Wi Fi battling. Just like that, we have caught our final team member, Ponyta, the Fire Horse Pokemon. This one's level 32, so it's actually not far behind the rest of our team. Naturally, I want to give this thing a name. Well, there's a lot of names, a lot of possible names I could give this thing. I'm gonna go with a name that pertains to a movie that I watched some time back. Spirit, who cannot be broken. That was the... That was the main thing I wanted to do. I think I may actually have to go back and get the card key that we used to get through the... Uh, the Silphco building. So, let me see. I want to see if I have that. You know what? I need to go and get it. Pretty sure I can just escape rope my way out of here. So I can go ahead. I should. I hope I have enough room. Not gonna need Pokeballs for anything from this point for a while. Yeah, why not? Put away 
one of our TMs. And go ahead and heal. Let's see how I am on my repels. Ah, uh, 23 super repels. I should be alright. You know what? I know I said it was kind of economically bad to worry about max repels, but since I'm in Cinnabar Island, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a few. Grab some escape ropes. And... Uh, why not? Still locked. So yeah. Now for real, I'm just gonna navigate my way through the Cinnabar Mansion, and there's nothing in terms of rare encounters. Oh, there's a muck. Yeah, the wild Pokemon here tend to range through the low 30s to the high 30s. It's pretty much... It's a known fact. I am underleveled for this point in the game. And... Really, the, aside from having to come here to gain access to the gym. The only other thing here is you get a little bit of backstory and... Oh. Oh, I guess the card key... Actually... Wait a minute. Yeah, there's a different key that I'm gonna need. There's a different key that we find in here, actually. If necessary, well, it is, as I stated, there's some, a little bit of backstory you just find by wandering around in this area. Just like every, just like everything else, really nothing, nothing overly critical aside from just getting the key to the gym. So, I'm just gonna speed on through and just kind of point out the important stuff as we go along. And fire red and leaf green, these statues right over here. Yeah, this is what we gotta do. Press these switches. Who wouldn't? Gotta love the game sarcasm. But there is still a key that we'll need to find.
Oh. oh. Trainer fight. Yeah, for real, I'm just gonna speed ahead and make note of the... the important stuff. Okay. I think some of these guys, they are trainers, but you have to actually talk to them to initiate the fight. So if I could get away... If I could get through here without having to worry about that too much. Diary. Ah, here we go. July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Major reference to a real-world location. And next to it is a calcium. gonna speed on ahead and make note of anything interesting along the way. So. See you guys in a bit. Another diary entry. Well, this one is actually... Okay, but yeah, July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. So, July 5th, July 10th. <laughs> February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mew 2.
guys, guess what? We jumped out a window! too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Or as you remember from the first movie, we set out to make the world's strongest Pokemon, and we succeeded.
kind of crazy. Kept getting myself turned around and all that. Had to really shuffle my items around quite a bit. Found some decent items, GTMs. It turns out that the main thing... Yeah, the main thing we were really after was the secret key. that, we can now get inside the Cinnabar Gym. Uh, first things first, I want to go ahead and deposit what I can. Ice Beam with Blizzard, and I replaced Thunderbolt with Thunder. So, that's all in good. <laughs> now it's just a matter of healing the team. So, go ahead and make a quick 
next stop at the Poké Mart. Inside the gym. Yo, champion making. The hot headed blade is a fire Pokemon Pro. Douse the spirits with water. It better take some burn heals. Yeah, the gimmick here is you come over, Pokemon quiz, get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, and get it right. Here we go! Caterpie involves the Butterfree, and that is false. Technically speaking, that is a false question. There is a Pokemon in, in between those two. So, we gotta fight this guy. But you defeat the trainer, and the door opens anyway. Take the quiz, no big deal there. Eh, it won't hurt to get some extra experience. Actually, the tr some of the NPCs in the Pokemon Mansion were the Burglar Trainer class. They were, but they were ones that only fought you if you talked to them. But there are a few there in there that were like that. Bullpix. I just stick with fire type. On fire type battling. If I could get a critical hit, that'd be fantastic. Just because I can. Okay then. I'm already confused. <laughs> uh, Gen 1 programming. <laughs> yeah, there's really nothing to this gym. Just answer the quiz. And now I am going to go ahead and switch. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing to this gym, aside from the quiz, so there's really no point in me showing it the whole thing. So with that being said, I'll just meet you guys at the gym leader, Blaine. Alright, here we are. We made it to the gym leader. Ha! I am Blaine. I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokémon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have Burn Heal! And this is our... seventh gym battle. Blaine, or Gerald Robotnik, if you prefer. <laughs> His first Pokémon is a level 42 Growlithe. Why is that fake? Well, in the case of a stone-induced evolution such as Growlithe, Delaying its evolution is actually... What?! That thing was still in green health! Agility! Okay. I'm trying to set up on me. Obviously, I can handle that. Next Pokemon is his own Ponyta. Level 40. We take this. And he's using an early super potion. No. Haha. <laughs> that attack flinched. Two flinches in a row. Can we. Okay, that made sense for him to use the super potion there. Although that is that is his uh, third or fourth super potion, so kind of dumb. Anyway, just finish it off with an Ember attack. Ember 
Rapidash, the evolved form of Ponyta, level 42. We can keep this up. Never mind. I could just wipe the floor, potentially sleep with using a meal. But that's... It'd be kind of boring. I mean, yeah. Just keeping spirit in for the duration of the battle. But in a way, I'm kind of at a disadvantage. You know, fire versus fire. Even though I am... I was just... Mostly using a normal type of attack. And fire spin. And Gen 1 works exactly as rap, where you can't do a thing while your health gradually declines. Now, fire spin and rap are, have always been moves that damage the target between turns. But in Gen 1, those moves are straight up. If you were faster than your opponent and you used one of those moves, you just keep using that and whittle them down and potentially get a punch in the face. <laughs> of course, that isn't to say you don't have that kind of cheapness these days, especially with the prevalence of hacking in the competitive community. And one of the things, though, besides hacking, people who deliberately shut off their game when they're, they start losing. I've actually had that happen. I've been in a Wi-Fi battle and so, you know, I do something and suddenly connection well, the connection was lost. Super annoying. Like, it's one thing to admit defeat and just forfeit, but to just outright turn your game off completely? No need for that. Why even play the game if you're gonna act like that upon losing? Anyway, yeah, I've got, I've drawn plenty of forfeits in Wi-Fi battling, and that's perfectly understandable. In any case, Blaine's final Pokémon is the evolved form of Growlithe, Arcanine, at level 47. And he's got Fire Blast. Ouch. Oh, critical, okay. That was painful. Now we're just gonna go all in here. Surf. What? That thing is at full health. Why did you use a super potion, you dummy? Wow. I did not know that was even possible. <laughs> well, that thing is super healed now. This game. <laughs> I know. I know. Gen One is broken, but wow. There's broken, and then there's just challenged. <laughs> In any case, we have won the battle. Emil is level 37 now. And we win! I have burnt out. That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> we got ourselves the Volcano Badge and almost 5,000 Pokemon dollars, and yes! Ken is evolving, at long last. Ken evolved into Pidgeot. After seeing our rival use one of these, we finally have our own. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too. We get TM38, which is Fire Blast. Teach it to Fire-type Pokémon. Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. I will go ahead and do that. Just like Blizzard and Thunder, it's not 100% accurate, but it's quite powerful. And so now Spirit's got a fourth move. And now, we can go ahead and talk about our newly evolved Pokémon here. 
Upon reaching level 36, Pidgeotto evolves into Pidgeot. Stats have grown a bit. <laughs> Pretty nice. Attack and defense are roughly equal. Definitely a fast Pokemon, not heavy on the special stat, which is fine. Spirit is level 34 after the end of that fight, of course. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Definitely a memorable fight. So, with badge number 7 in hand, we are fully complete. We are done in Cinnabar. We are free to head on toward the location of our final badge. And I want to check how much money I have, actually. Oh, that's good. Back about 16,000. I definitely want to heal after that. I've been doing throughout the entire series. Even on personal playthroughs, you know, I have my team sorted from weakest to strongest, and it's just a way of rotating them out. That way they tend to they get experience equally. Uh, let's see. Yeah, with us being completely done on Cinnabar Island, we actually have to head up this way. come full circle to our home. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set off in that direction rather than end it off in end things off on this random little island. I'm gonna show off apparently I'm gonna show off a wild encounter. There's a tentacle. Yeah, since we're on their way back to Pallet Town, the Pokémon are going to be rather weak, so... A few trainers along the way. There's another one of those little islands. Yeah, there's just that island there, and then there, there's that one we saw between the Seafoam Islands and Cinnabar. There's a second island there with two trainers on it. That over there is just a wall. Random patch of grass. Let's see what we find. A Pidgey. Yeah, since we've come full circle... Oh, level 23, Pidgey. Yeah, back to fighting the common encounters, but... At... Higher than... Normal levels. So we come back, and look at where we are. Pallet Town. Back home. Yeah. So. Back here in our house. Go back upstairs. And. As I hop on my Super Nintendo. Our next destination. We actually need to go back to Viridian City. Because our final badge. Is there. Our last gem is there. And that will be a topic for next time. So, in the next episode of Pokemon Red, we will be returning to Viridian City and taking on the final gym. See you guys then.